There's quite a few things to discuss in Black Lover Chapter 301. Not only Noelle confessing her true feelings of how she feels about Asta, which was a big deal because moving forward this could change things with Noelle's character, but also Megikula creating this massive army of 100 Dark Disciples, which in other words is the army of the dead. And I know immediately we all thought about Asia Silva in this case because the army is made up to steel and blood magic which has to be very horrible in Noelle's situation in her shoes because she has to fight against her mother's magic. We got a lot to get into and as always before we start, guys if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe with notification bells on and leave a like on this video. Now let's talk about Black Clover chapter 301, Those Feelings. Alright, so. This chapter begins with even more confirmation on what Asa truly did saving Lord Bachika and he talks about that he was able to stop the explosion however Lord Bachika has many curses on her that still needs to be broken. So Asta has his limitation because a lot of people thought that he was going to be the one to break the curse but Asa's anti-magic swords have their own limitations and I've been telling you guys this for months that it's going to be Gordon. I truly believe that Gordon is going to save Lord Bachika. And if you want to know why I believe Gordon will save her just go to my Gordon video I will leave that in the top right hand corner. However, Liba mentions that there should be no reason why a supreme devil is here. Only one gate was open. However, unlike the twin devils, Liba did not mention that he knew Mikikila, which makes a lot of sense because the twin devils resided on the weakest level, which is where Liba is from. However, after Asta listened to Liba, he gets this real serious look on his face, realizing that if a devil, a supreme ranked devil, is out of the underworld without a gate being open, then things like this can get really bad because who knows if other devils have different methods of getting out of the underworld besides Megikula. And I can't lie, that is a very scary thought to have. Megikula knows about Asta because she said that, oh, this must be the anti-magic human that the others in Vanika were talking about. Asta's presence alone is a threat to her entire existence. Asta just being there is disrupting her entire plans. So she starts to add in more curses on Lord Chica and Vanika and you start seeing the curses start revolving around their chest. Almost though she's trying to create another exploding life spell. But that immediately gets halted. The new additional curses that she started to create here start disappearing all because of Charlotte start using her briar magic to absorb the curses themselves. Her magic power was increasing. She was able to withstand decaying world. But there is a caveat, a situation where I didn't even think could happen, but it happened. Real happened. <laughs> and I can't believe that I'm going to say this, but Real was the MVP of this chapter. The spell that he used in chapter 298 wasn't all for nothing, which is Twilight Valhalla. Now this spell took time for him to activate because he said he's not used to this and thanks to Asa stopping the explosion, it took him time to create it. He explains when Twilight Valhalla is activated, it gives all his allies within his range increase of magic power and no matter how much damage they receive, they won't die. A few minutes they are invincible, but when the spell is done, all the damage that Real will receive will go back to him. So this spell has its pros and cons. And the thing about this spell that I love so much is that it plays off the Norse mythology lore, which I explained in my Nozelle transformation video. However, to break it down further here, Real was inspired by Noel's Valkyrie spirit dive form. And in Norse mythology, Odin gave the Valkyries a certain role where they go and aid the chosen warriors, which was deemed worthy, and they aid them into battle. And also, if they have fallen in battle, they also have the chance to take them to Valhalla, which they will have a chance to restore their life, which is a place also known as resurrection for the fallen heroes. That is why when Real uses spell Twilight Valhalla, you see Valkyries and also the reference to the lore, Real is restoring their health, which happens when Valkyries take you to Valhalla. And also, he's increasing their powers, which Valkyries also do when they find chosen warriors that are Vikings fighting in protection of Odin. So thanks to Real, everyone was saved this chapter because if Megikula was able to pull off another explosion on Vanica and Lord Chica, Asta would not make it in time to save both. This would have been bad for everybody, so MVP to Real because he saved everybody this chapter. Asta gives Real props to this chapter saying, I'm so happy you're alive. And Megikula, she even smiles about this like, wow, humans are utterly fascinating. Now, this is when things get really crazy this part of the chapter because Megikula does something in this chapter which I had to say when I read it the first time. I was like, okay, 
This is the coolest thing any devil has ever done in this series so far. As a result to the hobbies that Vanica and Gekula have, there's a multitude of dead dark disciples underneath this tower. With the power of devils and the power of Vanica and also the power of Asya Silva, which are the seals that she can control, she was able to make, make an attribute army full of the magic power of steel magic and blood magic, a 100 man dark disciple army. This is by far the coolest thing I've ever seen a devil accomplish in this series. Besides Zagra tricking the elves for 500 years, that was very genius. But this alone, man, oh my god, I think I like this more because this just shows that Megicula can literally create a underworld into the real world. And if you guys see my Devil Civil War Theory video, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. But we see this panel shot of Real and Charlotte fighting off this 100 man army. And this should be no problem to them because it was stated in the beginning of the series that the Magic Knight captains are as strong as 100 mages. And that was early on in the series and they are much stronger now so that feat alone should be no difficulty. Especially since Real has them invincible for a few minutes. But this is bad for Asta because Asta his body is in pain at the using Devil Union form. He even admits that, I'm sorry, but I am no help in this situation. Undine had to take Asta and Lord Bachika away. So, while he's leaving, he tells Noel that the rest is up to you. Now, quickly, Noel has her doubts, but that was enough. She quickly realized that Asta encouraging her, he truly believes in her, that makes her feel a certain way. She starts to have this inner dialogue with herself. She said, just the fact that you are here, just the thought of you gives me strength. Ah, so that's how it is. Even though I've been running away from it, I can't believe that I'm realizing it at a time like this. I like Asta. Now, this is very reminiscing to what had happened when Asta said he likes Noel during the sports festival. However, Noel did not know how to react to this, so she just pushed Asta away with her water magic. But for Noel to admit this and also admit the fact that she'd been trying to run away from it, from the idea that she likes Asta, but not that she fully convinced herself that, you know what, let me put that away. I like this guy. This might change things with their dynamic moving forward. Noelle may be somewhat of a Sundere still moving forward, but not as much. She probably is going to be very open with Asta moving forward, which could compromise the relationship with Mimosa. But hey, I'm sorry, Mimosa fans, but this is the ship. <laughs> <laughs> but we know that Asta loves Sister Lily, so does it really matter? Probably not right now. <laughs> However, Noelle did say that she cannot focus on that right now. She needs to take down Megicula and she transformed into Saint Stage. Now, this is where things get a little tricky the way the chapter ended, which we will definitely get more context next chapter, but Noelle transformed using Saint Stage powers, but we just saw the Undine holding a water bubble, which contains Laura Bachika and Asta in it. So either she went away from the water bubble and fused with Noelle in her spirit die form, or Noelle activate this power on her own. And if she did, Noelle doesn't need the water spirit to have this power, which we will definitely need a full explanation on that next chapter. So this could go two ways. You will get that information next chapter, or you can subscribe to the channel with notification bells on and comment below about your thoughts on how you felt about this chapter. You guys have an awesome life. Take care of yourselves. Stay blessed and I'm out.